All right, so time to remove the steering rack. And uh, I already put the car up on jack stands. But while I was at it, I don't think I ever showed you guys what I did with the suspension. So as you can see, everything, all the rust has been removed. Took everything off, painted it, either black or silver. I got rid of the leaf springs and I put these BC Racing coilovers for an independent suspension. Installed new brake lines and painted the calipers red and new rotors. So there's that side. And similarly, on this side, looks the same. Now, I think what I have to do is remove that. There's a couple of bolts that I see over there. Some power steering lines that I have to remove. And I'm gonna try to yank this thing out outside of the driver's side wheel well over here. All right, time to start. Driver side tie rod is out. I'll show you how to do the, the passenger side. I think you need a size six hex like that and a size 18 wrench. So what you're gonna have to do, pop the wrench in there. That goes in there, and then you basically just start loosening it up. So let me do that. It requires two hands, and as soon as I get it removed, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so some people are saying to turn the steering wheel and do all this kind of stuff. I have the alternator removed, and as you can see, we have to disconnect that bolt right there because it's kind of like a clamp. That gets that holds basically that steering column in place. So previously I went ahead and made some marks on it, and I just used a few extensions, and I was able to reach all the way down there and start turning that bolt. So right now it's pretty loose. So next I need to continue doing some other stuff. Maybe I'll have to remove that completely, but so far, I doubt it, but we'll see. I'm finding it really difficult to get to those lines down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt and this one, see if I can somehow move this thing out of the way. I'm not 100% sure. Even after that, if it can be done, but... Alright, so I'm going to continue by removing this, this whole little ABS module. I'm not really going to remove it. I'm going to try to just slowly bend it out of the way. I think that's going to be the easiest approach to those. So, as you can see, there's a bolt down there attached to the nut. I've already loosened it. You do need two 18 millimeter and a wrench in the back. And then a socket right up there up front, so... Let me go ahead and remove that, and I think there's a couple more down there, yep, that I have to remove so that I can move that ABS controller out of the way. Looks like the easiest access point is from underneath the car. I already got that top one removed. Just a 13 millimeter right there. I'm getting that removed right now. All right, so move this thing out of the way a little bit and I was able to reach that top one which I'm unscrewing right now just used an 18 millimeter wrench to get me loose and um, pushing it out of the way by hand so it took about 15 minutes maybe 20 I was just slowly and meticulously taking them out but I got it loose the second one up top and then I was also kind of turning it maybe a sixteenth of an inch every single time from the bottom as well, then alternating. And finally, I was able to kind of angle the, the wrench and start going at it from the top to the point where I got it removed. And now it's just time to remove those two right there. 
and get those out and slide the, well after that bolt, slide the steering rack out. Okay, so I'm working on this one and really not much room. Right there. So initially I just attached a piece of tube actually for my uh, floor jack to this uh, just to get it started. And now it's coming off. I mean it's almost to the point where I can just remove it by hand. So as soon as I get this tube out, hopefully I'll be able to get this one next. Now that that first tube is removed, as you can see from right there and there, I have access to it. I'm going to attach my metal right there and just get that one loose as well. And pop that sucker out. Alright, both of the lines are out. Good God, that was painful. Well, actually all four. Disconnected all four and removed them. Now I'm just going to remove that bolt, and I honestly think that's it. I can drag it out of the slowly out of the driver's side because I don't really have much side on my passenger side, but I do over there. Same concept as when I was removing that ABS bolt right there. You just remove this big bolt. It just has a nut and washer, so, or a nut and bolt, so it's just 18 millimeter wrench and 18 millimeter socket. All right, let's see where we're at. I'm going to start looking around, see if I can find anything else, see if I can start wiggling this thing out. I don't know. I needed to remove the steering column. There's that bolt that we were loosening earlier. So I just went ahead and removed that from there and now I'm gonna start inching it somewhere now there are these lines in the way which I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing around maybe I can twist it somehow but we'll see let me figure this out and then I'll let you know okay so it can be done as soon as you start pulling this towards the driver's side that piece drops and I was able to just kind of wiggle it down around these ABS lines. So now it's just time to continue pulling it out and just take your time. It'll take some time, it looks like it, but hopefully no more than five to ten minutes to wiggle this thing out. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done. Okay, so there's some kind of sensor. It's connected and disconnected right there as you can see. It looks like it's attached to the bottom right there. So let me see if that's the right one. Nope. Hmm. Where the heck does this one go? Looks like that's the one. Now I'm confused now. Alright, let me see attempt to move it out of the driver's side, the steering rack, you're going to have to drop the cross member because it gets stuck and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So, started pushing it out the passenger side and I've gotten it to that point. Um, pretty sure I can wiggle it out of there, but I'm not even going to attempt. I'm just going to kind of leave it right here. I have access to this. And that way it's going to be easier for me to push it back once I change this harmonic balancer. All right, finally. And this took some time. I would say total time it took me uh, maybe two and a half, three hours. Something along those lines.